to the high school ranks, cold and rainy day for the D1 High School Track and Field State Championships at Burlington High School. We'll start with the track events. CVU's Tyler Marshall, he's a man on a mission this season. Here he is taking home the 1500 meter run, finishing in just under four minutes, nine seconds. He also takes first in the 800 meter and 3000 meter, sweeping the long distance runs. In the boys 110 meter hurdle, it is a photo finish, but South Burlington's Nick Knudsen barely edges out Burlington's Kai Schmidt Belowy by two one hundredths of a second. On the girls' side, 100 meter hurdle, St. Johnsbury takes the top two spots. Grace Cook barely beats out teammate Katherine Cowan here. The duo helped the Hilltoppers build up a big lead in the team standings. The boys 100 meter dash, Jasper Reed put on his PF flyers this morning. The Brattleboro Colonel takes first in both the 100 meter and 200 meter dashes. In the field events, Mount Mansfield's Abby Carter had herself a day in the pole vault. The Cougar clearing the 10 foot marker here on her first attempt to take home the state championship. St. Jay's Hannah Westcott finishes in second. And finally, in the girls' triple jump, Leah Roddy takes home the state championship as the only girl to break the 35-foot mark. She adds to what was already a great day for the St. Johnsbury track and field program. Let's take a look at the final team standings from the day. The Hilltoppers get the sweep, taking home the D1 titles on both the boys' and the girls' sides on Saturday. The MMU Cougars and South Burlington boys finish in second place behind St. Johnsbury. Champlain Valley narrowly edged out Essex on the girls' side to finish second and third, respectively.